a Saturday. Yeah. So I won't see you until next Sunday. So I just want to wish you a merry, merry Christmas. Uh, we're not ready. There we go. Feliz Domingo por la mañana y Feliz Navidad. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginning Church of the Big Ben. We welcome our NBC family, our visitors, and all those joining us by audio and video. Amen. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive yes. that yes. for you. God has something for you, you know. It's Christmas, and we're all expecting gifts. God wants to bless you each and every day. Amen. Amen. But he blesses you to be a blessing. Yes. Amen. He doesn't just bless you for you to keep. He blesses you for you to give. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. We're going to be talking a bit more and more about that. We so, hallelujah. He's got great plans for you. None of them include wow. defeat. So he's not finished with you. You're not a finished thing. God is working with you. God is blessing you. And we're moving and and, 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 and and going and going for him more yes. and more each and every day. Amen. Yes. So let's remember these things. Praise God. So Amen. get yourselves ready. I want to, we won't hold you long. And uh, I'm going to give you a shotgun uh, uh, service today. Amen. I just want to bless you with all the things he has for you. I mean, all the good nuggets that's here that you could have. Just to remind you, we're closing out the old and opening the yes. new. That's yes. what we've been talking about. If you're going to close out the old, open uh -huh. uh, the new with a bang, amen? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Excitement. Yeah. Uh, not sadness, but excitement, amen? Yeah. So amen. grab your Bibles yes. and uh, make this declaration with me. Hallelujah. Amen? Thank Let you me Lord. get mine. Make this declaration with me. Here's my Bible. Where's yours? Grab it. Here, sir. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know, I know your mind is alert. Amen. But let's remember the battlefield is the mind. Yeah. And that's what the enemy uses the most. Try to confuse you, try to put things there. For you to grab on to. Mm. But we're to renew our mind yes. with the word of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hey, let's get it right. That's not right. Uh, get, it, get it straight. Get it right. Yeah. You know, at your job, you know you're supposed to do a certain way. Mm -hmm. And if it's wrong, you correct it. Hey, that's not right. We got to straighten mm -hmm. this out. Mm -hmm. You're building something. You got a foundation. Well, you're going to start. You're going to do a foundation right. Well, yes. Everything's going to fall. That's it. We got to build our foundation Amen. in Him. Amen. Yes. And keep it strong. Amen. And when the enemy's trying to. Come down on your foundation and say, wait a minute, mm -mm. I'm going to renew my mind to the Word of God and confess the Word, and everything else is going to be gone in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. So I'm excited. I don't know about you. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes, it it's is. the best blessing you can have. You know, some of us need to smile more. <laughs> well, I don't have anything for Christmas. Uh, you know, we're going to be talking about that. Uh -huh. Because... You know, we, we think about worldly things, oh, and we don't think about it. We oh, celebrate yeah. Christmas because yeah. a child is born. Yeah. Maybe Jesus is born. Amen. Oh. And we're going to be we're going to be talking about all those oh. things. We sang a song this morning. Thank you, praise team. It blessed me so much. Yeah. It says, "Give me Jesus." Yes. Yeah. You know, every time when you wake up, you know, thank you, yeah. Jesus. Give me Jesus. Praise yeah. God. That's a beautiful song. So closing out the old and opening the new. Second Corinthians five seventeen talks about the old is out, the new is in. Yes. And you know that's not once a year. That's on a daily basis. Every day, yeah. every, yeah. day every day. Old is gone, the new is in. So yes. let's not go and grab the old and try to keep in the old. You know uh -huh. this is a new day. Yes, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. One step at a, one one day at a time. Amen. Yes. So. You might as well say, um, um, oh God or oh me. <laughs> so Merry Christmas. This is a time of celebration. Yes, the greatest yes. gift was given. Yes, is this was. why we celebrate Christmas? Uh -huh. The greatest gift was given. Yes, was. I'm also going to say a few things and hopefully, well, if it hurts you, it's to correct you. Amen. Because <laughs> God loves you so much, uh -huh. knows everything about you, and loves you the most. Yes, he does. And sometimes he wants to bless you. Sometimes he wants to be nice. But other times he wants to correct us. Say, wait a minute. Yeah. That's not right. Okay. And uh, the greatest gift given, Jesus Christ, uh, John uh, 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. Talking about us, people. Yeah. That he gave 
He sacrificed his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Amen. So whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes, it is. You know, you hear it all the time. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I've heard it before. Yeah. But it is. Yeah. But if you don't have Jesus in your season, if you don't have, <laughs> you're not celebrating Jesus for that reason, right. then you're celebrating the world. Yeah. Or you're celebrating the cycle. Yeah. Because you're either, you're either for or against. Amen. So here we go. Say, I love you, Pastor. Love you, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Believers, don't be ashamed to say Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Do not be ashamed to say Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's not Happy Holidays, to be politically <laughs> correct. So I won't offend somebody. Yeah. I just want to say Happy Holidays. Mm -hmm. So not everything. We used to have Easter break. We used yeah. to have Christmas break, Thanksgiving uh -huh. break. All yeah. these nice breaks uh -huh. amen but now it's happy holidays yeah no as a believer <laughs> you shouldn't stop saying you know Merry thanksgiving christmas. or stop Merry saying christmas yeah, exactly. not it's not xmas yeah. if you are <laughs> shame on you don't do that no more <laughs> xmas didn't uh die on the cross for That's you it. Right. It's, it says christ must uh, uh -huh. no one have a few uh, merry christmas go ahead go ahead come let me catch up here says, may the love of Christ uh, fill your home and every day of your life. Yes. Merry Christmas. Yes. Keep going. We got a whole bunch of these good things to show you. It says, Christmas begins with what? Christ. 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 Because of Christ. Baby Jesus was born. Mm -hmm. It says, the name is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Christ. Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Amen. So, it's not Xmas. Yes. It's Christmas. Amen. Amen. He paid the price. It's about it's about Christmas. The attitude of celebrating Christmas is to give, give, give. Not just receiving, not just taking, or not just getting. Amen. It's about giving. And you know, um, I have a list, and we're gonna go back and forth. So um, you could say, well, I don't have anything to give. I don't have anything under the tree. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Let's talk about it. Amen. It's every day is your day to give. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world, He gave. Yes. And we're to be imitators of Christ. Right. And we're to give of ourselves. Amen. Yes. Every day is a day to give. Believers yes. have more to give than just finances. Everybody thinks, well, it's time to give. Well, all they're going to talk about giving, you know, they're talking about finances, you know. Uh -huh. No. God had gave His only begotten Son. Yes. Jesus gave His life. He paid yes. a price yes. for yes. us to have salvation. Uh -huh. And you know, a lot of people don't know. Salvation is a free gift. Yes, it is. That you can receive any time. Yeah, if you right, have it, yeah. now's the time. Glory. Amen. And believers, what do we do? We need to give our best. Yes. We need to give our best. Amen. Carmen, you're going to fly through some of these. And I'm going to stop. <laughs> fly through some of them. Keep going, keep going. Oh, keep God. Christ in Christmas. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I didn't have the order of them, so I apologize. Keep going. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. God wants it. What? God wants oh. you go all your life. Not just, not one, just hour. one hour a week. Right, he wants full custody. <laughs> not just half time custody. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we need to take this in the heart. You know, when we feel like, uh, well, you know, I work so hard, I, I just ain't got time. I've done so much, I ain't got time. Uh, remember, let's remember him. You know what? We haven't even come close to going what he went through. That's it. Amen. And he that's didn't do it. anything wrong. That's it. Mm -hmm. And the things he went through. And be sacrificed. And you know what? Here's the thing is, when he came, yeah. when he had a talk with the Father in heaven, he came knowing that he was going to be sacrificed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you knew when your day was up, or if you knew you was going to be sacrificed, you probably check out and say, "Uh-uh, I'm out of here. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't uh -huh. giving up. I mean, I'm not giving up. Uh, That's it. I, I'm not going on with this." Mm. But he didn't. And every day when he prayed, and asked the Father, "Give me strength to, to yeah. continue." <laughs> you know, man. So John three sixteen says, "So God so, so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, yeah. that whoever believeth in Him should not perish." But have everlasting life. Amen. Luke 6 38 says, Given it shall be given unto you. Yeah. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. Uh -huh. 
For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Right. Amen. So listen, this is not finances, okay? Listen to this. You can give. The song we sang, give me Jesus. You have Jesus that you can give each and every day to somebody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can give love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. You can give of yourself. Yes. Amen. Thank you. We never think about that. We can give of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm giving myself back to you. Amen. Amen. Old is out, new is in. I'm a new Christian in Christ. Lord, I'm going to give my, my life back to you. Yes. Amen. He knows best what to do with it. You know, I made a mess out of it, <laughs> but you can show me. He didn't put you here to be a failure. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to be a winner. Yes. He put you here to be a, a, a champion. All right. Amen. I have a plan for you. I'm sending you, and you. Know, I have a plan for you, but you got to stay connected. Uh -huh. Amen. You yeah. got to stay connected to him. Yeah. And be full time, not part time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We're going. We're going still. We go. Live. It says, "Give to live. Uh -huh. Give to live. Give yourself. Commit. Submit. And be available when he comes to knocking on. Yeah. Don't, don't say, "Who is it?" <laughs> You know who it is. <laughs> you know, you look through the people and says, oh, no, it's, it's him again. <laughs> and say, I'm not opening the door. You know what? He could, toy, he could, he could walk, walk through that door. Through that door. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's about your free will. Yes. Are you willing to open up uh -huh. and let him in? If you don't open up, he's not forcing his way in. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, Amen. Whoo, Glory. <laughs> give your heart, give your love and compassion. You know when you feel sorry for people? That ain't going to help nobody. But when you have your love and compassion of Christ, it's going to help them. And you can give a prayer. Amen. You can give kindness. Amen. Amen. You can give a uh, thank you. You can give a smile. You can give a cheerful attitude and appreciation and encouragement. Man, nobody wants to give an encouragement anymore. Everything is about rage. Everything is about quick, fast, instant. Amen. Everything. Nobody wants to stop. Nobody wants to say, hey, thanks for opening the door for me. Give honor. Give uh, uh, happiness. Give hope. Give a prayer. Give, uh, give, give, give. And live, live, live. Amen. Amen. So remember, he blesses you to be a blessing. You know, when you bless somebody, they say thank you. You know what they see? They see Christ. Uh -huh. They see Christ. Amen. They see the goodness. And they see Christ through you. Amen. So that was one of the nuggets I wanted to share with you. <laughs> we should be celebrating, giving, rejoicing, and being happy. You know what Merry Christmas? What Merry, the word definition, I, I went and looked it up. If you don't know, I'll let you know. Merry means happy. Being joyful. Being uh, cherry. Being cher uh, cheerful. Being uh, joyful, being uh, laughing, being gay. I don't know. Well, huh. gay oh, means yeah. happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. And also it means in good spirits. Also means high spirited. And it also means being alegre, being feliz. Amen. So Merry Christmas. Be happy. There's a time to yes. be happy. But you know what? <laughs> Every day could be a Merry Christmas for you. Remember, this is the day the Lord has made. Instead, people are unhappy, sad, depressed, miserable, gloomy, and most of the time during this this uh, Christmas time because they think, I don't have anything to give. Uh -huh. Amen. I don't have anything. But you have Christ. You know, you have yeah. Christ. You have, I told you the story about that old man in uh, Australia who <laughs> was giving tracts out, and that's all he had to give. Mm -hmm. And he gave them out. And he never heard the results until the end. Right before he died, people came and surrounded him and, and told him, you know, well, all these people that came to Christ because of right. him. Because Amen. Yeah. You'll never know how many people you touch. And yes. one day you'll see. Amen. Yes. They'll come to you and they say, because of you, thank you. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are here because of praying moms or grandmothers. Oh, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Man, Praise. I hate going to grandma, but you know what? <laughs> she kept you in her prayers and you're here. Praise God. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> I believe much of Christmas unhappiness and sadness comes from lack of 
knowing your Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lack of knowing Him. Amen. Your Lord and Savior. Romans 10, 9 and 10. We're going to go through it in a few minutes. But in 2 Corinthians uh, 5, 17. Mm -hmm. But your priorities are out of order. Man, you got all confused. You got all rushed. And now your priorities are the world first and then God way at the yes. bottom. By the time you go, you go through your priority list, mm -hmm. God at the bottom, you have time. We don't have time for it. Oh, That's God. it. We got to get those priorities in order. That's it. We got to put them on top. Amen. That's it. Put them on top. And you Amen. know what? The rest, the rest is going to work just right. Yes, we yes, are. Amen. When we trust Him, everything else is going to work just right. Amen. So let's remember that. Celebrate the gift, the one who blesses, the wow. blessor. And not the blessings. That's it. He blesses us to be a blessing. Yes. Let's remember this. If God wants to bless you, He's not against you. Mm -hmm. But He blesses you for a reason. And that's to be a blessing. Yes. Let's yes. Uh, let's go let's go to Romans ten nine and ten. Mm -hmm. I think I think I had a slide on that for me. We use this all the time. But let's read it and find out for ourselves. Yes. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says this. Uh -huh. It says, If thou confess with mm -hmm. you, thy mouth mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, uh -huh. what? Thou shalt, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yes. Okay? So you need to confess with your mouth. And yeah. Then, you, not you, not your mom, your dad, right. or anybody else. You need to confess. You need to receive him. You need to open yes. up your door and yes. ask him to come into your life yes. and be your Lord and Savior. Amen. If you have it, now's the time. That's the best gift you can give. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Carmen. Romans 10, 9 and 10, the King James. Salvation, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord yes. Jesus and shall believe in thy heart yes. that God has raised him from the dead, right. thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So believe and confess. Amen. Yes, amen. Praise God. Two important things. Two important things, mm -hmm. yes. Praise God. Let me see. Hold on. In the uh, Amplified it says this. Because if thou, if you acknowledge and confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and in your heart believe, adhere to, trust in and rely on the truth that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And yeah. verse 10 says, for with the heart a person believes, adheres yeah. to, trust in and relies on Christ. And so it is justif justified, mm -hmm. declared righteous acceptable to God and with the mouth he confesses declares openly yes. and speaks out freely his faith and confirms his salvation <laughs> so we're not going to hide it that's right amen we're not going to hide ourselves we're going to come out of our closets <laughs> say, wow I didn't know you was a pastor <laughs> wow. were you hanging out with the wrong crowd <laughs> I didn't know you was a Christian. Mm. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> don't hide it. That's it. <laughs> wow. Uh, but you know what yeah. people know? They'll come up to you and say, mm -hmm. what are you doing there? Mm -hmm. I thought you was a Christian. Why are you hanging out with them? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? Why are you saying those things? No, they'll right. be able to do that. Oh, I mean, they'll know. Yeah. They say, I, I didn't know they knew this. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? The word's out. And we live in Marfa, so everybody knows. Everybody knows each other. Christmas time and daily living is not meant to be sad or depressed. That's right. You know, when you have Christ in your life, it shouldn't be a sad day in your life. You shouldn't feel lonely or by yourself because what's the Bible saying? He says, I never leave you nor forsake you. He's with you. If you want to talk with somebody, if you want to share with somebody, share with somebody that's with you, that's in you, that knows you better than all. Don't go share with somebody that has worse problems than you do. You say, oh man, that's nothing. I got worse than that. Said, that ain't going to help you. That's no help at all. Christmas and every day is a time to rejoice and be glad. And this once again, this Psalms 118, 24 says, uh, this is the day the Lord has made. 
we or I will rejoice and be glad in it. Christmas time is a time of celebrating the greatest gift given. And this gift was not put under a tree. He was put on a tree. He was sacrificed. Yeah, right. Amen. He was crucified. Right. But you know, I want you to know this. Uh -huh. A lot of us still picture him crucified. Mm -hmm. He's not crucified. He, 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 he rose. He rose. And he's in heaven. Amen. And he's interceding for us. So, you know, if you see me wear a necklace or a, a cross, you see, there's no crucifix. There's no Christ. There's, there's no Christ on right. right. Amen. If you go give me one, don't give me give me one with a, a uh, Jesus on the cross. <laughs> because he's not on the not cross. There. He's not there. Amen. That's the cross right here. <laughs> he's not there anymore. I don't have to remember him dying. Right. Yeah. I want to remember him living right. and yes. raising up. Yes. Amen. Yes. Man. Jesus, the greatest gift to us, sent by the Father. Never say I didn't get a gift this Christmas. You did, but you didn't recognize him. And perhaps you don't know him. Receive him. Amen. Surrender to him. Jesus paid it all. Amen. So praise God. Salvation is free. Receive your gift. Amen. I mean, it, it won't hurt for you to say, Lord, I receive you each and every day. Amen. And Lord, I receive you each and every day. Amen. Just, you know what? You're making people mad and you're making the devil mad. <laughs> Amen. Just speak it out. Say it. You know, and enemy's going to get mad. Say, Man. Oh, says, the Bible says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. He will flee. So you know what? If I go around confessing the right things, enemy don't want to hang out with me. <laughs> yeah. so he gonna find out. He's gonna go find people that are saying things he wants to hear. Amen. But hang around me? No, no, no. I'm not going there. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with him. John 3 16, 17 says this. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son. Your gift, your present. Whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God said not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved amen so we need to know these things the bible says if you know the truth it'll set you free amen. so you want to be free know what the word of god says so nobody can confuse you anymore because the enemy is he's the author of confusion Okay, he wants to keep you confused yeah. or he wants you to hang around with people that's going to keep you confused yeah, yeah. <laughs> But if you know the truth, mm -hmm. then it'll set you free. Yes. You know what the Word of God says. So when you're listening to a bunch of lies or if you're listening uh -huh. to things that you shouldn't listen to, then it's time to check out. It's time yeah. to go. Amen. <laughs> the Savior sent into the world not to condemn it, but to save it. Mm -hmm. The world through this gift was present. Jesus, our Heavenly Father. Amen. John 10, 10 also says that the enemy... The devil, whatever you want to call him, came to what? Steal, kill, kill, to kill and destroy. destroy. Yes. He says, but Jesus, he says, I came that you might have life, life and life. have it more abundantly. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what? That's on a daily basis, yeah. not just yeah. on Christmas Day, right. but on a daily basis. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I live Amen. an abundant life through you. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the reason for the season, Christmas yes. time and daily time. Uh -huh. Daily living time. He is the reason I'm here. And the only time, only reason, you know what? The only reason, the only reason I haven't checked out is because he's not finished with me. Yeah. He's not finished with you. And if I'm going to live this life, I want to live it serving him and doing what he wants me to do. Amen. Amen. Not wasting time, spending on the, what do you call those uh, uh, little hamsters on a little spin wheel? You know, <laughs> and I've seen them things go 100 miles, you know. <laughs> no, but no, they don't go nowhere. They go nowhere. <laughs> Well, we don't want to do that. That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to keep us like this, you know. But you know, with Christ, you can move on and press on, you know. Amen. It says, press on, child of God. Yes. Press on to the goal, what I've called you to do. Amen. Yes. Christmas should be a time of remembering that Christ must, begins with Christ. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, don't forget, hallelujah, it's not about Happy holidays. That's right. Amen. You mean Merry Christmas? You mean Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Christmas. Mm -hmm. Come on. Giving and not receiving, you know, it's okay to give. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind receiving, but you know, 
when he asked me, when he asked you to give, don't be attached to things. Amen. Giving thanks, forgiving and forgetting. We talked about last week. Last couple of weeks, we talked about if God has forgiven or forgotten, mm -hmm. forgiven and forgotten, uh -huh. we need to do the same thing. Yes. Why haven't you? Right. Because we're listening to the wrong mm -hmm. things. Because the enemy is going to keep you busy thinking yes. he didn't hear you. Uh -huh. Not this time. Yes, he hears every time. Yes, he, God is not deaf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. So, Christmas is a time to uh, change. It's a time to be glad and rejoicing. Amen. Amen. The true meaning of Christmas, of course, is Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And it's a time of celebrating, a time of giving, a time of rejoicing, being yes. glad and being happy. Yes. Yes. Amen. So, I've got another yeah. nugget for you. We're talking about the old... Get closing the old and opening the new. Uh -huh. Opening, closing the old with the bang and opening the new with the bang. Uh -huh. Let your say so's, the word of God, uh -huh. be according to what the word of God says this coming yeah. year or each and every day. Yes. I encourage you this day and every year yes. to send your words out in a position, a uh, positive direction, yes. speaking positive confessions over your life by choosing to change your say so's yeah meaning the word of god mm -hmm. remember there's life and death in the power of the tongue yes, there's there life is. and death in the words you speak yes this is very powerful mm -hmm. we need to we need to grasp this because that's where we uh open the doors for the enemy to come yes, in yes. if you go around confessing negative things uh -huh. you can have what you say oh yeah so we need to remember this mm -hmm. I, I wrote this uh proverbs eighteen twenty one says Words can bring life or death. Mm -hmm. Talk too much and you'll lead everything you say. <laughs> wow. This is not for somebody else. Oh, yeah, right. but I gave it to him. No. Mm -mm. You Please. gave it for yourself. <laughs> this, it's going to come right, right back at you. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> uh, God can bring death. God, oh, excuse me. Words can bring death or life. Yes. Too much, and you'll eat everything you say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, listen, I'm just giving you a few. And I got scriptures, we got these in the back over there. Yes. It says, Let you say so, be. I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. I'm a winner. I'm positive. You know, you mm -hmm. can take this and, and post it somewhere. Yeah. I can't remember all these things. Well, you know what? Take one of these and just post it up. Not, not while you're driving, but uh, <laughs> put it in the bathroom. Put it in your That's bathroom right. where you spend most of your time. Your <laughs> Listen, I'm blessed. Yes. I'm a winner. I'm prosperous. I'm strong. Yes. I'm healthy. I'm talented. Uh -huh. I'm creative. I'm faithful. Uh -huh. I'm secure. I'm yes. disciplined. I'm focused. I'm attractive, and I'm valuable. Yes. I mean, yeah. it, it just keeps going on. Amen. Listen, I'm an overcomer. I'm yes. more than a conqueror. Uh huh. Amen. Oh man, praise God. praise God. The right people are in my future. The yes. right opportunities are headed my way. Uh -huh. I will accomplish my dreams. I will accomplish what God sent me to do. I'm an overcomer. This is my year of a breakthrough. Yes. This is my year of change. You know, every time they, they call the New Year resolutions, uh -huh. <laughs> you repeat the same things and you're doing the same things, but you're expecting different results. Yeah. That's insanity. Yeah. <laughs> Because you, you're saying things, mm -hmm. but you're not you're still doing the same yeah. thing. Right. And it's not right. happening. It's kind of like the, the hamster in that wheel. You know, uh -huh. It's the same thing over and over and over. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Okay. Man, all these you can confess. All these you can confess for yourself. Uh -huh. I've got another one right here that says, stay connected. Yeah. Stay plugged into the source. Right. I'm closing this here, but guess what? I'm still connected to the source. Uh -huh. And I'm going to open by being connected to it. Yes. Amen. He's the vine. We're the branches. Amen. Amen. I get all my nourishment. I get all my strength from him. Yes. Amen. And to say, stay connected to Jesus. Troubles come to everyone, yet Jesus is the source of all that you need. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And you got to confess those things. Yes. Here's, here's another Praise one. Praise God. Whose report will you believe? Uh -huh. You hear negative reports all the time. Yes. And this world is negative. Yes, it is. If you want to live in a negative world, you got to stay positive yourself. Mm -hmm. We talked about stirring yourself up. 
Yes. If you don't stir yourself up, nobody's going to stir you up. That's it. So keep yourself stirred up. Mm -hmm. Whose report will you believe? Believe the report of the Lord. Bad report says, <clears throat> I have too many cares. Mm -hmm. Good report says, no weapon, no weapon prospers. No weapon mm -hmm. formed against you shall prosper. That's it. I'm sick, feel bad. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. Yes. I'm afraid. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but a power of the inside of mine. Many struggles we wrestle not against. Yes. And then I figured it out. I will direct your steps. I'm too tired. I will give you rest. It's yes. impossible. All things are possible through him. Yes. On and on and on. I, I can't go. It says, my grace is sufficient. I can't do it. You can do all things all through Christ things who strengthens you. It means all these things. Because the enemy is going to surround you with people to keep you down. Yes. To keep you uh, uh, busy. Uh -huh. Just like on that, on that wheel. Uh -huh. you? I got one more for you. And then we'll close with this. Yeah. Oh. It's more blessed to give than to receive. I like that. Acts 20 and 35. Yeah. Thank you, Carmen. And there's one about the mosquito. Oh, the one, yeah, put the mosquito one. I was supposed to open with a, a funny for you. It says, <laughs> I want to be so full of Christ that a mosquito bites me and flies away singing, There's power in the blood. <laughs> there's power in the blood. All right, there all right. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, listen, it's the end of the year. Yes. And you feel like you failed, mm -hmm. you didn't accomplish what. You want to accomplish and the enemy surrounds you with people that are going to tell you oh, you know yeah. you're no good you're not qualified you didn't do this you didn't do that and your past you're still your past is still keeping you uh in prison mm -hmm. okay listen to this if you think god cannot use you because of your past or not being qualified mm -hmm. remember these bible heroes mm -hmm. we're talking about these bible heroes Noah was a drunk. I'm only give, giving you a few. Mm -hmm. Abraham was too old. Well, I'm old, I'm too old to do that now. Mm -hmm. or, or I'm too young. Or I'm not old enough. Mm -hmm. Jacob was a liar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this one. Leah. The Bible says mm -hmm. Leah was homely. Mm -hmm. So I went and looked up holy. You know what holy means? Mm -hmm. Homely is ugly <laughs> and unattractive. And you know, she had a, a, a sister named Rachel. Oh, gosh. She said, uh, Leah was ugly. Mm -hmm. uh, Rachel was beautiful. Mm -hmm. So Jacob came to Laman and mm -hmm. says, I want your young daughter. And Laman thinks, he says, um, well, Leah is the oldest, and the oldest should marry first. Mm -hmm. So give me... Give me seven years of work serving, and I'll give you uh, Rachel. Mm. Well, I don't know. When, when seven years was up, he came to collect, and I don't know uh, if he was under the influence of whatever, but he didn't notice until the next day that Laman gave him Leah and not uh Rachel. I mean, that's that's bad right there. He must have been real drunk. <laughs> and he said, wait a minute, wait a minute. He came back and he said, you, tri you tricked me. He's, he, he, wanted, he wanted to get rid of uh, Leah. <laughs> and Leah, guess what? Leah gave Jacob seven, seven, seven children. A lot of kids. A lot of kids, you know. <laughs> she wasn't too ugly. She wasn't too ugly. <laughs> And guess what? He came and done another, yeah, another, and another. He came and served some more for uh, Rachel. No God. Amen. So man, Rachel was that beautiful, you know. He said, "I'm going back for Rachel. I'm doing another seven years for Rachel." <laughs> Listen, that's insanity. After <laughs> you wake up, says, "You're yeah, not Rachel. You're Leah." No. Joseph was abused. You know, everybody talk about abuse now. Mm -hmm. Joseph was abused. His brothers were jealous. Mm -hmm. And at first they say we want to kill him. Uh -huh. Then they said, now nah, we'll just give him the slavery, you know. Sell him. <laughs> sell him, you know, sell him, sell him. Oh. But you know what? Every time they put him down, mm -hmm. he rose. Yes. God rose him. 
He yeah. raised him and raised yeah. him and raised him, you know. He was second in, 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 in command there in mm -hmm. Egypt there. Moses had a stuttering problem. What's your excuse? <laughs> we all have excuses. Yes. You know? We disqualify ourselves. Yes. God is saying, I qualified you and we're yes. saying, yeah. I'm not good enough. Uh. God says, you're good enough. Yeah. If we put you here, you're good enough. Right. Gideon was afraid. Samson had long hair. Mm. Uh, the little boy with the lunch. Mm -hmm. You know what? He had a lot of faith. Yeah. And it fed 5,000. Go to the book of John uh, 6, 9. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. One of my favorites here is David was a shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. But he also had an affair and he was a murderer. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Rose from a shepherd to king of Israel. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what about you? Yeah, he can raise you from whatever you you yes, you, yes. you you dis disqualified yourself to be. Mm -hmm. I said God qualified you to be and raised mm -hmm. you up. You know. Yeah. So see yourself raised and broke. Mm -hmm. You know, overcomer and yes. not the past hold, yeah. holding you back. Amen. Amen. Press on with the things of God. How about Peter denied Christ? Yeah. Face to face, he says, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm ready to fight for you. He says, uh -huh. no. He says, before the night's over, you'll deny me three times, mm -hmm. and he did. Yes, he did. But Jesus didn't give up on him. That's right. So what's the reason? Who told you that you're not qualified? Uh -huh. Who told you God can't use you anymore? Right. Right. Whoever did is a lie. Because Jesus mm -hmm. used Peter mightily. Yes, he did. Twice he led thousands mm -hmm. to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And he can use you to do the same thing. Amen? Amen. So, hallelujah. Uh, Zacchaeus was too short. I know. <laughs> God is not into small, sizes, tall, <laughs> colors, or whatever, you know. He, he's, he's just in the gift of people to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Paul, <laughs> I like, uh, he used a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> and it talked. <laughs> you ever heard oh of God. talking donkey in the Bible? It says so. Yeah. He said, why are you beating me? <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> Man, you hear no you talk, man. Say, man. What did I smoke or what did I drink, man? I want some of what you got. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I want to read this. I'll give you this before. I... Lazarus was dead. God used all of them. And he can use you. Yes. Remember, old is out, new is in. No more excuses. That's it. One body, many parts. We are the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. He's the head with his body. Yes. God's looking for available people. Yes. Amen. You're important to God. You're important to the body of Christ. Be committed. Be available. Be involved daily and every day in this new coming year. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be a participator, not a spectator. Fulfill your part. Amen. Jesus called to you chose you, anointed you, and equipped you to fulfill a mission, to be a winner, to be a champion, to yes. be an overcomer for him. Yes. Don't let the devil, distractions, excuses, or anyone stop you from fulfilling what God called you to do. All right. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So God bless you. Have a blessed day. Merry Christmas. And have a blessed and prosperous new year. Amen. Thank Hallelujah. We won't close. Until we give you the opportunity. If you never accepted Christ, this is the time. That's the best gift you can receive. Yes, All you have yes. to do is say, Lord, I've I failed you. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's not going to turn you down. He's going to He's going to be your Lord and Savior. Amen? Yes. So yes. praise God. If you have sickness in your body, just touch any part of your body that's, that's not well. Or just touch your forehead and say, mm -hmm. Lord, touch him, Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord says, by Jesus Christ, you were healed. Yeah. So I call myself healed, yes. and I receive my healing in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Yes. Praise God. You're healed of the Lord. Amen. Yes. Thank you. And it's time to give. Yes. If you're watching, Lord. listening, <clears throat> just go to our website, Big Ben, NBCBigBen.com, and hit that donate button. And if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. God bless you, and Merry Christmas.